Hey guys, you're watching the video of the podcast Nanexum Soundcast with me, Eva Bhatt. I hope you have subscribed to the audio podcast available on all leading audio streaming platforms, Epilog Media website, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, GeoSavan, your favorite podcast platforms. Uh, talking about today's guests. Um, now, in 2019, I had one of my most memorable conversations uh, with the iconic Salim Suleiman, uh, episode number 34. And I feel that, you know, 2020 would have been incomplete without us having them once again on this podcast, this time talking about their labor of love, Bhumi 2020. Now, Bhumi 2020 features some of our most loved artists right from Shreya Goshi to Arijit Singh, to Osman Mir, to Kaushiki Chakraborty, to Sukhvinder Singh, and many more. And I have been waiting, uh, you know, for this mega project since the time they had hinted about this uh, project in my last episode. So here we have the incredible duo who have enthralled us music lovers since years now. Salim and Suleiman, hearty congratulations and thank you for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. Thank you so much. As I said, like, you know, uh, we have been waiting for this uh, Bhumi 2020 and uh, tell me, you know, how has, uh, uh, how have you not let this uh, pandemic or lockdown not affect your creativity and productivity? You know, this, it is such a beautiful thing that uh, we went into lockdown just after we finished shooting Bhumi 2020. Oh. Bhumi 2020 was shot in uh, uh, January. And we were in the process of editing and mixing when, unfortunately, the lockdown happened and we were all sitting at home. So we decided, instead of breaking off from this project, we decided to work from home and we decided to continue working uh, due to the new technology and the innovations in uh, communications. We were able to mix the entire album sitting from our individual homes. Wow. It was a beautiful way to do it. Uh, we used to have multiple devices connected and one would give us audio and the other one would give us uh, a chat interface where we would be talking to each other. Or as we finished the whole project and uh, we wanted to release it in about March, April, May to June. And we kept saying, yaar, we have to wait. We have to wait till the moment is right when you, know, you feel that Chalo, there is there is hope now. There is hope inside. We have a vaccine. Yeah. We have all these beautiful uh, things coming where we know that life has a possibility of going back to normal. And that's when we said, Ki, nahi, abhi to release karna hume. And so here it is. And I like the name Bhumi 2020 because um, you guys are not shunning away from, you're not, you guys are not afraid to use the word 2020. You guys are in fact, uh, kind of trying to infuse all the positivity and the hope to this year and give it a beautiful ending. What do you have to say? <laughs> yeah, well, we always look at the glass full rather than half, glass half empty. You know, many people have suffered in this pandemic. Mein. Bhot sare log ne apne, I mean, sabko sabko kathi nai aaye aaye. Lots of people have had problems. Lots of people have suffered, uh, you know, uh, with their loved ones going. We have lost a lot of friends and you know people from the fraternity. Of course. But the fact that there are still there's still life and there's still positivity. There's still the there's hope that we will fight this pandemic, is a big positive sign. And like Sulema said that this looked like the right time because you know we looked we were we are hoping that some good things are going to happen now uh, already uh, some uh, you know positive signs for the vaccine etc so this is a great time you know for us to uh, release this music because we are hoping that inshallah uh, you know next year early next year things will be looking back to going back to normal and hopefully like you know by april uh, you know everything would have been back i'm hoping uh, yes. I'm including live concerts and including, you know, all kinds of gatherings, etc. Um, there is a big problem in our world, which is fear. Fear is a big problem. And music is a big healer. And that's why I think this was a great time for us to release uh, post Diwali, to have that positive science and to have a sign of hope 
that there is, uh, and that's why 2020. Yeah. This album was done in, uh, was supposed to release in 2020. We waited, 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 and now uh, 2020 is getting over. So we said we have to release it. Wow, amazing! And uh, I know that you guys have always been, uh, you know. Uh, flag bearers or supporters of original music uh, like we spoke in our last uh, conversation also like even if it is uh, Bollywood music you guys have always uh, tried to stick to uh, you know original uh, music and uh, with this uh, pandemic situation and lockdown situation we see a great surge of indie music independent music so uh, tell me about your individual thoughts about this uh, surge of independent music everywhere I think this was bound to happen. You know, it, this is all cyclical. You know, there was a there was a cycle of change where everybody wanted to do remixes of old songs. Then there was a cycle of uh, Punjabi songs. There was a cycle of hip hop. There was a cycle of uh, you know, alag alag uh, trends. Se, people are trying to catch the trend. Uh, we are trying to set the trend. So instead of following and catching a trend, ki bhai, Aaj ye chal hai, to let's do something like this. We are trying to create a trend by saying that this is what the new cycle of music is going to be. Uh, we've always tried to be trendsetters, always try to do something different, something creative, something uh, out of the box, which would create a, a, a difference in our lives. Uh, you have to hear it and say, wow. You have to hear it and say, ye mazaya, main fir se sunu hai isko. You know, that's the that's what we are trying to do. So, independent music is the only way that you can do all of this. You can't do this when you're doing a film. Uh, in a film, you're in a box. You have to do it the way, you know, there are specifications. Ke bhai, uh, your format has to be only like this. You can only do this. You can't add something extra because sometimes your sensibilities with a director or a producer yeah, might not happens. match or even the record label will turn around and say ke yaar, ye sound kya hai yaar, ye nikal do. but wo sound to highlight hai. this is what we need this is what is making the song different so uh, a the one thing that we did was during lockdown we created our own record label yeah uh, started by recording a lot of uh, songs independent songs with different different artists uh, some very well known, some relatively new, some uh, very successful, and some completely original, brand new singers, wow. debuts. So we've done all of that. And it was all gearing up towards a release that would just take everything that we've done in the lockdown into a massive release. Absolutely right. And like, you know, your love for folk music and folk culture of our country. Um, we have been seeing that not just in, uh, you know, your independent music, but uh, right from your Bollywood music songs like, you know, Ye Hausla from Door or, you know, the Chakde Anthem or Mola Mere or Kurban, you know, all these uh, hardcore commercial Bollywood uh, films uh, but we have always seen that uh, that love for folk side of you know of, of our music uh, so uh, tell me about uh, this beautiful dream that has come true Bhumi 2020 well um, Eva this is a you know this this is a great reflection of our personalities we both have studied Indian classical music we both have studied Western music and, uh, you know, we've collaborated with so many different artists over the years. Yeah. And uh, 20 years ago, we did an album called Bhumi. Yeah. And uh, that was a, a folk album, which uh, had the original folk songs from different parts of India. And then we sort of colored it in our own way with drums and guitars and bass. And we mixed it at Peter Gabriel's studio. Uh, and this album uh, was something which... You know, we never thought that we, we should make 20 years later, we should make an album. It just happened one evening in our studio where Sukhvinder was there and we were having chai and he started singing this uh, Saval Mor Muhara, which is a Multani Kafi. Yeah. And it's, a, it's an old uh, traditional composition. He started singing in such a beautiful way that we felt like we should do this. We should, we should work on this as a song, as a single. And 
after we finished it, it gave us so much happiness. Uh, we called Nikita Gandhi to do her part. So it it seemed like a it we just felt like we are starting a, a something very something very new. It felt like we are giving birth to a new sound, a new genre. And I felt like maybe this is a great song that we've done, but isko or karte. I'm like or gaane aise karte. Let's do a couple more. So we worked on another song, which was, uh, uh, you know, a Krishna bhajan, but had electronic uh, flavors in it. And Shreya sang that. And, <laughs> and that is called Muralia. And then, we, uh, and then we said, this is now an album like this. And we did a song with Arijit. And then we did a song, we did a Kavali, uh, which is also uh, a beautiful Kavali. It has multiple singers in it. And then we did one song with Osman Meer. And then we did a bandish with, Ka, with Kaushiki Chakravarti. And then it just went on and one after the other. And I felt like this is turning out to be a great album of seven songs. And seven because seven seas, seven satsur, satsur. seven colors of rainbow, saat phere, uh, seven heaven. There's so many sevens. Everything sort of fell into place. Everything was getting into place and I felt like Bhumi is an album, but it's not really just an album. It's going to be a movement. And when I say it's going to be a movement, we are definitely doing it next year. We are doing it every year, in fact. And, uh, you know, with, we'll try to create another a genre, which is like Bhumi and, you know, which, which includes musicians and singers and artists and composers and lyricists from all over. Uh, uh, you know, to come under one uh, universe and make music in a free spirit, with a with a beautiful uh, feeling of, um, you know, tradition meets the sound of now. Wow! Amazing! Amazing! And uh, like. You know, I have been such, I mean, we, all of us, we love folk music so much. And on this podcast, though, we have al- always tried to, you know, stick to, uh, you know, Bollywood because we are a Bollywood music uh, network channel. But uh, I have always tried to, you know, uh, get out the folk side of artists on this podcast. If Sukhvinder Paji came, I had a folk gawali, any Punjabi artist, you know, pop star. So he will obviously naturally, you know, sing a Gurdas Man, uh, classic and you know something and I discovered that every artist um, uh, be it a senior uh, like Vishal Shekhar or uh, you know Pritam Da ya fir, uh, you know newcomers like Nikita Gandhi or Junita Gandhi the moment I asked them or Neha Bhaseen the moment I asked them to you know uh, sing a folk song that was the chamak hai unke chehre pe wo jo, you know noor hai wo bilkul Change ho jata hai. And it is it is the roots of our country and uh, what better way to celebrate India than to celebrate the folk music of India is our wealth and we have to protect it like how we protect the Taj Mahal or you know the gateway of India these are these are properties of our country and uh, uh, this is we, we do everything to make sure that we keep it alive and keep it revived and keep it protected kya baat hai, kya baat hai. and the artist lineup is great like you know everybody would be looking up to up kya up kya up kya how did you kind of uh, you know come up with this uh, artist lineup was it just natural and you know people just came together how did you guys decide to have okay we'll have osman meer from kutch and uh, kaushik chakravarti from kolkata and all it was a it was a, a joint decision between suleiman and i uh, these are you know this album all incredible singers. Some are new, some are uh, seasoned, some are, you know, have a very unique sound in them. And we decided to work with singers who, um, who've really contributed a lot in the Indian music scene. You know, some of them have great potential. Some of them have already, uh, their voices are really loved. Some are, some are very popular in the Hindi film scene. Some are good in their independent scene. Some are classically really renowned and very, very popular like Kaushiki Ji. So it was a nice mix. Lovely. I think um, listeners or viewers would be eager to hear uh, some, some, some song of... Well, it's uh, going to be playing on 9XM. It's going to be playing on 9XM all over. So, yes. Saval mole muhara, muhara hai. 
Salim, without any accompaniments, this song. No, I was like, accompanying myself. <laughs> it is. I was accompanying is, myself. No, but no oh, doubt but, about it. But the way Suki sings it, it's the way Sukhvinder sings it. It brings a lot of love and it brings in a lot of tradition in it. Um, and he brings but, in a lot of energy with it, which is completely. And I love, different. I love, uh, I love uh, this uh, Nikita's part also. Seasons come and seasons go. Where you live. I will follow lost without you in your shadow even sir shreya's song it was composed like a bhajan you know baje re baje baje uraniya baje gopala tori baje re baje baje uraniya baje kadehi so this is a song which is which is like you know in praise of lord krishna and his flute muralia if you listen to the song you don't expect the electronic flavor which the song has it's composed as a tra- traditional bhajan but the arrangement is very unique and very uh, modern that's what's a great combination wow and bringing alive our rich ragas and you know this uh, this fusion of uh, you know western and hindustani i think the sound is going to uh, you know hit the chord with you know music i mean it's what it's about time that uh, globally indian music is uh, you know taken to the next level of course we have pop and we have uh, the complete classical because there is no denying the fact that zakir bhai Yeah. Uh, promo Zakir Bhai and artists like him take our Indian uh, folk and classical music, well, classical music, yeah. to the next level in the international four. But yeah. uh, to be able to combine the sound of now and uh, the the devotion of the classical and the folk, and to mix it together and amalgamate it in a way that sounds completely different from whatever has been heard before. is uh, something that uh, i'm sure that the west will look to and and will hear it wow so are you guys planning how are you planning to now you know uh, present it to uh, the audience like you know you are releasing songs back to back but you know your mm-hmm. your main usp is the is the performance the live performance are you guys planning anything about it no not now we are hoping that uh, you know uh once things are okay then we're going to do a proper well movie. we were we were actually supposed to do a 50 concert tour with this before the lockdown started and hopefully once uh, uh we know that everybody's safe and yeah. in a better place and uh, there's no risk of transmission and uh, community transmission and all of that all of that you know wo sab agar once all of that goes down and then we can have concerts we definitely intend to do take this on the road Yeah, it is something it that deserves. is it definitely deserves to be uh, experienced I think more than i think more than the music that deserves to be heard like that it's also the audience deserves to hear this music in a live environment oh, oh, oh. of course of course like you know uh, i'm you guys have been like masters of not just music compositions but you guys are masters of live uh, you know live gigs and spectacular uh, shows like umrah jaan the musical that we spoke about like you know that has been the biggest thing that people look forward to when it comes to see we are all all waiting for so many things to do post the lockdown because we had we had a whole lineup of concerts we had a, we had a musical that was releasing we were uh, ready to do uh, one more musical which we were in the works of wow. so a lot of things in the pipeline a lot of uh, hopefully 2021 is going to be one of those magical years which where everything comes to the fore wow coming back to saval i must say that you know the magic that um, when you watch uh, when you hear it's 
crazy when you watch the video it's it's so beautiful you know to see sukhvinder saab you know singing in his signature style and then all of a sudden out of the blue you have a powerhouse performer like nikita gandhi you know belting out uh, english uh, notes so that, that's just she's amazing she's really a beautiful voice and you know i never imagined that this combination is going to work so well because yeah. sukhi has got a very traditional uh, urdu voice and then nikita is so urban and so now and so uh, yeah. voice is so velvety that is, the combi the combination is just magical that's what really works and all of you on the stage behind the stage everybody seems to like you know in that moment you know the, the when we see the faces of both of you and the uh, and raj and uh, you know all the technicians the musicians it it's just amazing it's just like crazy so the the whole Petrifying. idea was to be able to capture the whole idea was to be able to capture the essence of the song and we thought the only way we could do that with all the musicians and everybody was to actually create a stage where we could perform and so we actually created a studio first because we couldn't get a place which would be able to host <laughs> the kind of specifications we wanted yeah so we created first we created a studio then inside the studio venue. we create yeah we created a venue Oh yeah we actually created a venue where we could perform and then we created the stage and the backdrop and the lights and the uh, LEDs and then we created the visual content that would go in the back of the thing so this was it was not just a, a a thing where you create a song and then do a regular music video every single detail of this project was thought of very carefully before execution there were countless nights sleepless nights that we've gone through uh, working on uh, just maybe small details in the visual effects or uh, small details on lights or small details on the stage the way it's supposed to be and the singing and the music production and the mix and the master and the video delivery and the tie ups and everything so this is not something that has uh, we've left no stone unturned on this project this is one of those which will always be Uh, one of our favorite and uh, most uh, prestigious projects wow it shows definitely and let me tell our listeners and viewers that you guys would be hearing you know special episodes featuring the artists that are you know going to feature going to be featured in uh, bhumi 2020 uh, so we are looking up to that and you guys uh, should wait for that and lastly let's also talk a little bit about uh, the one with osman meer you know because i am from kutch oh, and i would like to know a little bit about that I'd be looking. I don't know whether you know this that we are from Kutch as well. Yes, like our, yes, our roots of course, Salim Suleiman. Yes, our roots are from Badre sir, and uh, you know it's in uh, it's very close to Mandvi, and uh, that is uh, so. You know, I was once I was on the plane with uh, Javed Akhtar Sahab, and uh, Javed Sahab told me that Salim, uh, I think you all have read somewhere that you all are from Kutch. You should do a song in Kutch, in Kutchi. क्या बात है I that thing what Javed Sahab told me has stayed with me, and I always wanted to do. And I met Osman Bhai about three years ago. He came to our studio, and we met very casually. I see chai pee. I'm looking at me. Then he said, "Ki you know, I let's do something together." And he sang this. Mujha Haji Peer Aliya, Aa Ke Pukariya. And I felt like wow. And उन्होंने कहा कि Haji Peer एक जगह है, एक दरगाह है, जो वो पाकिस्तान border के बहुत करीब है, और वो दरगाह की ये खासियत ये है कि जो लोग को औलाद नहीं होती है people who don't have kids they go there and they pray couples go there and pray and they their uh, mannat gets qubool le lo ki mannat qubool ho jati hai so a lot of there's a lot of faith and belief in that place and uh, from and hindus said, and uh, muslims alike everyone everyone, from everyone everyone there is no i know no religion there is no religion there's no there's no uh, that you know the darga is for everyone so yeah so and i felt it's a beautiful uh, you know representation of you know unity uh haji peer darga and we must definitely you know do something a song there and you know he started he was singing so beautifully and i felt like this is this, this song we must uh, develop and make it into a uh, one of the songs of uh, bhumi 2020 Wow amazing thank you thank you so much for this and uh, lastly um, for the for the listeners of this podcast uh, any message uh, you know any uh, 
learning that you guys have you know had over the past few months especially in this year anything that you would like to share for you know our listeners this is a lesson in patience right this year has been a lesson in patience and perseverance if you are patient you will persevere uh, you have to keep the faith you have to be very strong willed and you have to be very faithful your faith your will everything is just taught us so many things that ek to ye hai ki you know you can sit at home and work and there is no stopping you if you have to do something you can do it yeah right and you just have to keep the faith that at the end of the day there is there is light at the end of the tunnel and you know that things will change it's not that life is going to change drastically things will change for you i'm very thankful for uh for for people who are people who have helped people in this pandemic and you know it's it is a it, it was really a tough time for everybody i mean we're still going through a tough time and we've really uh, not you know we've all we've done a lot of complaints ke ye nahi hai wo nahi hai you know um we are going through such a bad time ye ghar mein matlab baithe baithe thak gaye but there are people who who are you know who've gone through worse than us who who gone through who lost their near and dear ones i'm saying i just say one thing be thankful be thankful that you have food on your table be thankful that you are alive and healthy be thankful that if even if you are sick you're fine now and um, there is no replacement for hard work yeah you know you may not get results immediate results but what you learn from working hard nothing can teach you better than that your experience is your biggest biggest uh, victory wow thank you thank you so much for coming on the podcast we are going to shamelessly say that please listen to bhumi 2020 uh, the videos are available on uh, the sufi score uh, youtube channel and uh, please go like subscribe please follow us uh, please do all the things necessary to go and make uh, bhumi 2020 a super hit wow i would say that uh, bhumi is a movement um, we've uh, done bhumi 2020 but uh, you know give us all the love for the music because it it has a lot of uh, apna pan in it it has a lot of our own color in it it has a great mix of tradition and contemporary sound of now so uh, uh, it's not something that you're going to love it immediately uh it's not one of those uh, uh fast food kind of things that you you bite and you start loving it but uh you know give it a second third earing and then it'll stay with you forever kya baat hai what an honest thing but thank you so much once again salim and suleiman we uh, we always feel so so happy and so fortunate to have you with us we have finished like almost 78 episodes 78 is just a number eva uh, i hope and pray that you do uh Seven thousand eight hundred. Seven hundred and eighty to start with, and um, I just hope and pray that you uh, shine and uh, support good music, and always, uh, you know, bring out the best in every artist. Thank you, thank you, Salim and Suleiman sir. Uh, we love you. You know that, and we love, love, love your music. Bollywood ho, ya fir independent ho, and fir jab Bhumi 2020 type ka kuch project aa jaye, to to it's like a treat. It's like a you know a celebration for music lovers, hardcore music lovers. So Bhumi 2020 is the anthem of not just 2020 but 2021 actually, because we are like nearing. the end of this year so you know start the new year 2021 with this amazing uh, you know soundtrack of uh, bhumi 2020 salim and suleiman thank you so much for being on the podcast thank, thank you, you.